Joseph Conrad, born Józef Kozienowski, was a remarkable writer and a visionary. To appreciate what a great and extraordinary man he was, let's imagine what he would do in our times. In his work, Conrad touched upon existential issues. He had been through a lot before he started writing. We live as we dream alone. He spent 17 years of his life at sea. Today, celebrities would dream of setting sail with him. As if it were too great, too mighty for common virtues, the ocean has no compassion, no faith, no law, no memory. The focal point of Conrad's reflection was the question of honor. His respect for honor stemmed from the upbringing in a noble family. Man is amazing, but he is not a masterpiece. In The Secret Agent, Conrad wrote about Russia-inspired terrorism. Today, he would warn the naive West against Russian imperialism. Although he didn't write about Poland, he hadn't forgotten his Polish roots. And in modern times, he would talk about them too. I'm a Pole, a Catholic and a gentleman and I need to oppose the smear campaign against my hard-working compatriots. I came here as an immigrant myself, and I learned English when I was 22. On the other hand, he was a loyal British citizen. He thought the United Kingdom should be the bulwark of Christendom. He would run into trouble for saying that. Conrad foresaw and supported the creation of a unified Europe, so he would vote against Brexit. I can assure you that Great Britain is not a separate continent. In total, 90 films about Conrad and his work were produced. His style of narration was unique. How would you like my film, Joseph? In my stories, the narrator was always crucial. It's good you haven't missed it, sir. Conrad warned us against the threat of a civilization deprived of values. The Heart of Darkness describes the most brutal episode in the history of colonization of Africa. Today, he would travel to Congo again. A Pole, a Catholic, a gentleman. Józef Kozienowski, Elias Joseph Conrad.